Hello, welcome back. Right, I have rather an exciting, rather an exciting box that arrived. This is the engine overhaul kit. At least I hope it is. I haven't actually opened it yet. I'm forcing myself to not open the box until I finish sorting out the cylinder head here. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to clean it all up. The, this is made of cast iron, which makes cleaning up a lot easier, really. The last one I worked on was uh, made of aluminium, and um, it was quite nerve-wracking. I ended up um, soda blasting it, which worked brilliantly, actually. Um, I went to a supermarket and bought their entire stock of baking soda, and I used that in a paraffin gun as a, like a teeny-weeny sound blaster, and it um, worked a treat. And the best thing is, the residue, you can just rinse it away. <clears throat> anyway, back to the tractor. So I'm going to get these glow plugs out. And I'm going to tackle all this. Ooh. Ah! This is interesting. So I was wondering what a strange pitting was on the on this one on this. Um, part of the cylinder head. I've just taken out the glow plug and I don't know if you can see that but there's a chunk missing. That should be a loop. That's what the glow plug should look like. That little bit of glow plugs come adrift, bounced around in there and presumably has managed to exit through the exhaust valve. I'm sure we all know how to do this, so <laughs> just in case you don't and you want to know. Um, this is a double-ended tin. It's got coarse in one inside, fine in the other. It's a paste with uh, an abrasive in it. And you just run a bit on like I've done there. Pop it in its hole. So every now and again you've got to lift up and just redistribute the grinding paste a bit because it'll get pushed out. So what you should see appear is a bright ring where it's been ground and you've got a perfect mating surface between the valve and the valve seat. You can get a little attachment for your cordless drill that does this. You spin the cordless in one direction and it makes the, I think it makes this oscillate like this. I'm putting scratches in because I'm using the coarse paste and I want them to go all the way round. And where there's little dark spots still, it means I need a bit more. And then this is the fine paste. All I'm trying to do with this is to get rid of the marks from the coarse paste. Just as you would with any abrasive when you're working your way up through the greys. Yeah, I just wanted to emphasise that this is not a guide to lapping your, your valves in. I'm sure there's plenty of those on YouTube already, done by people who have done it more than once every 10 years. And before I put everything else back together, I'm just going to check the length of the springs. So I have got a manual. This, I have to say, is the worst manual I've ever read. And it's not just me being thick. I've got plenty of manuals and I enjoy reading them. <laughs> But, but this one is just written in Italian gibberish, but it does at least have specification tables, which is going to be really useful later when I talk things up. Anyway, so we've got valve springs and I've got measurements here, so 2.125 inches on the inner. Yeah, that's bang on. And the outer one is 2.55. Pretty good. 
And I'm just tapping it out just to make sure it's seated in that collet properly. There you go. Right, that's that sorted. Whew, that was boring. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, if you're bored, nothing's going wrong. That's my motto. That's the exciting bit. Let's see what we got. Gaskets. Head gasket. Is the liner for the engine. So I need to make an extractor to pull out the old one. Mm. <laughs> Take a bit of head scratching. But basically, I need to make a disc that will go on the bottom here and will be about, well, it can't be, you know, it can't really be any bigger than that. So, a disc about that size. A threaded bar coming up through the middle. So that's in the engine. The disc will come on underneath, the threaded bar will come up, and then on top of the block, I need to put something like a big piece of box section or two plates, something over the top of that, and then I screw the nut down onto that threaded bar, and this comes up. Does that make sense? How about I just build one and show you? <laughs> this is the bit I was turning in the lathe. And that's an engine with shiny new liners. Well, considering I've never done anything like that before, I'm quite pleased with that. Still a long way to go. <laughs> mm. Alright, making progress.